Hello guys, welcome to today's episode of my channel. If you are new to the channel, I will recommend that you subscribe for more great content. Today we are going to cover a very interesting topic and I hope you will all enjoy. Mercedes is a German automaker associated with luxurious and high-end cars. Well, today I'm going to take you through the various classes in which the vehicles are grouped into. Well, before I start grouping them, there are two terms that I will first like you to understand. The first one is the AMG, which represents the top-notch sports version of the cars. And then we have the Formatic, which represents the four-wheel version of the cars. I would like to group the vehicles into 12 main groups, which I will later go through to make it easier for you to understand. The various classes in which the vehicles are grouped into include the A-class, the B-class, the C-class, the E-class, the G-class, the S-class, the V-class, the X-class, the EQC, the EQV, the AMG GT and the AMG GT4. The list might look long but I've simplified this into the simplest and the most understandable way possible so that you can understand. So be sure to stay with me up to the end. First, we are going to look at the A-class. The A-class is made up of compact luxury hatchbacks and sedans. We'll first look at the A-Class Saloon car. The A-Class Saloon is a recent incarnation from Mercedes. The car beautifully combines sport and seriousness creating a car that is roomy enough for the whole family while retaining its dramatic styling. It comes in 9 different variants and performance is slightly hampered by the extra weight. Variant models include the Sport, AMG line and the A35. The A-Class hatchback does not have much difference from the sedan. The car comes in 13 different models, each of which has a different engine depending on the power output. The models include the A250E, the SE, the Sport, the AMG line, the A35 and the A45S. Next, we have the Mercedes B-Class. This car can also be termed as the family car. Safety features are what stand out the most and they include driver assistance, parking aids, enhanced headlights, and active brake assist that ensure your family is always protected as you arrive in style. There are six model variants of the B-Class including a plug-in hybrid version. The models include the B250E, Sport, and AMG line. Next is the C-Class which I also like terming as the comfortable class. I will group the car into four depending on the various shapes in which they come in. First is the C-Class Saloon. The C-Class Saloon is definitely appealing to the eye due to its stylish appearance. The car comes in 11 different models including the SE, the Sport, AMG Line, C300E, AMG C43 and AMG C63S. Next is the C-Class Coupe. It takes the practicality and comfort of the standard car and adds sublime styling and eye-catch dimension. The models include the AMG line, C43 and C63S. Next is the C-Class Estate. It is also not that different from the standard saloon version. The added advantage is the extra boot space and great towing power. Lastly is the C-Class Cabriolet. It is simply the convertible version of the C-Class. We also have the CLA and the CLS. I would like to term them as cousins of the C-Class. The CLA Coupe is based on the A-Class. However, the car comes with improved features. The variant models of the car include the AMG line, the CLA35 and the CLA45. And lastly with the C is the CLS Coupe. The most interesting fact about this car is that it is the first Coupe to come with four doors. The models include the AMG line and the CLS53. Next is the E-Class. It is also grouped into four depending on the shape in which it comes in. I like referring to this class as the executive class. It is important to note that it is way more improved than the C-Class. The saloon version comes in two models including the AMG line and the Sport. Then we have the E-Class Estate. It is simply the station wagon version and comes with improved boot space. Then we have the E-Class Coupe. It is the sportier rendition and comes with two doors. 
only the AMG model of the car is available. Finally, it's the E-Class Cabriolet. It is basically the convertible version of the E-Class. Finally, on what I'm going to look at today is the Mercedes S-Class. I like referring to the car as the Supreme Class. This is because the car is superior and is crafted with only the most luxurious materials and the latest innovative technology. This car can be divided into three based on the shape of the car. First is the S-Class Saloon which comes as the standard version. Next is the S-Class Coupe which is the sporty version of the S-Class. The models include the S560 Grand Edition and the S63. And finally is the S-Class Cabriolet. The models include the S560 Grand Edition and the S63. Thank you for watching and be sure to stay tuned for I'll be releasing a part 2 talking about the G-Class, the V-Class, the AMG GT, the AMG GT4, the X-Class and the EQC.